Hi guys, back again. Here's Miss Mickey going to talk to Billy Bear today to see what animal he brought us today. Yesterday we talked about the what was that? It was the snake. His favorite place to live is on the farm because he likes to eat the eggs. He likes to eat chicken eggs and rats and mice and they're all over the place on a farm. We've talked about, what was this? The elf running up your leg? The lizard, right? We talked about the owl who hoots at night. We talked about the bat, the fox, the raccoon, the bluebird, and do you remember this one? This was the very first one. He rolls up in a ball really tight. The armadillo. Yeah, but today Billy Bear has another um, animal from my backyard. I wonder what it is. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we've all seen these. Sometimes we stop on the side of the road to help them find their way home. It is a, a tortoise, a gopher tortoise. Let's see. Can you see him? Yeah, he's really cool. They live underground, and how they get there is they burrow, which means they dig. They dig, and they dig, and they dig. And the tortoise's legs, can you see them? They go this way, because they're shaped like a shovel. They use their front legs to dig their hole, and their back legs are very strong, so they can push themselves further into the hole to dig deeper, and that's what they use their back legs for. It's amazing how animals know how to do this. They didn't have to go to school. They didn't have to read a book. They're just born knowing how to take care of everything that they need. And they dig very far down into the ground. They dig down far enough to where it is not so hot, 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 and it's not so cold, cold, cold. And as soon as they find that perfect spot, they dig out a whole area and that's where they live. But you know what is really cool about a tortoise? I thought this was so interesting. They share their burrow. They don't live there by themselves and their family. They let bunnies live with them. They let snakes live with them. They even let some owls live with them. And I think that is really, really nice of them that they share their, um, their home. Across the street from me, we used to have two tortoise homes, big holes in the ground. And when I would cut my grass in the summer, they would come across the street to my yard and they would eat the freshly cut grass. I think the smell took them out of their burrow and that was their favorite thing to eat. And um, I used to have ducks and my ducks lived in a little cage in the front and I would let the, du the ducks out so they could walk around. And when the ducks were out, the tortoises would come and sit in my driveway with the ducks. Isn't that funny? And sometimes my ducks would go and sit at the hole of their burrow and just hang out with each other. It was really, really cute. Let's see, tortoises can grow very, very big. You know, sometimes we see turtles like this, but they grow very, very big and they live a very, very long time. They're probably live longer than like an older than your grandma they live a very long time the sign language sign for a turtle is stick your thumb out stick your thumb out and then put your hand over turtle sometimes you don't even have to put the shell on turtle and we think that they move really slow and they do but they can quicken themselves up to get to where they need to be and to try to keep themselves safe. And do you know when a tortoise rolls over on its back, it's very dangerous for him because he can't roll back over. And sometimes if he has a friend, they're very social and they like to have their friends with them, the, their friend will help turn them back over to get them back on their feet. It's like if somebody falls down in the playground and they're crying and then you come over and you're their friend and you help them up. Turtles do that all the time for each other. Yeah, isn't that nice? They eat grass, they eat mushrooms, they eat berries, they eat cactus. I can't eat cactus. The other day I touched cactus and I got it all sticky in my hands. 
um, they like um, berries. They like blackberries and blueberries, all kinds of berries. So they have a very nice diet. They're very kind, but they will bite. They will bite. They don't want to bite you. They'd rather tuck their head back in their shell. But if they have to, if they're scared, they will bite to, to try to scare you away. So don't touch them. Don't touch them only with a grown-up. And if a grown-up, if somebody is holding them like at a zoo and they say you can touch them, that's okay, okay? Um, what else can I tell you about tortoises? They, um, they do make a sound. They make like a hiss sound. Um, and it's the kind of sound like to scare somebody away. Like, don't come near me. I might bite you. I might bite you. <laughs> but they're really not gonna. They're really not gonna. They're just gonna try to get out of your way. And sometimes when we see them on the road, so you, sometimes you see cars pulling over and going and being really careful, like scooting the turtle, so that walking behind the turtle so the turtle gets off the road. Or sometimes you can pick them up in a very special way and get them um, off the road. One time I went to pick up a turtle to get him off the road and I didn't know he had a very long neck and his neck came around and went to bite my finger and I let him go really quick and then he scurried along and got off the side of the road so you never know you know if they if they can hurt or not so but tortoise and let's see what the question is okay it says gophers see the name of this tortoise is actually a gopher tortoise which means he digs himself into the ground and gophers they're animals that are called gophers and they live in the ground so it says gophers are also very good at digging and these tortoises dig large burrows underground with the gophers and they stay there to shelter from the weather which means if it's raining and storming or a hurricane, they're down in the ground being safe. If it's cold um, and we get a, free, a frost, you know, like when we have to wear our gloves and our hats to school, they're down in the ground staying safe. So they, that's where they keep themselves safe. But they share their homes with other animals. How nice. And I have a book that maybe your grown-up can look for. A home for Little Turtle. Yeah, a home for Little Turtle. It's called Little Animal Adventures. Look, here is the tortoise eating lettuce. They love lettuce. They love anything that's green. So maybe, I wonder where he finds his home. He looks all around. Here it says that turtles like to eat all kinds of plants. They like to eat worms and tiny little fish. And they live in the gardens and they feast on lettuce. I told you they like everything that's green. They like to keep warm, but if the sun gets too hot, they go under the ground or behind a lot of rocks. They, say, um, they all might look alike, but no shell is the same. Just like we all have hands and fingerprints, but none of our fingerprints are the same, just like snowflakes. No turtle shell is the same. And it says, when the winter comes, the turtles dig their deep burrows, and that's where they stay. A baby turtle can fit in the palm of your hand. And there are many different types of turtles. They live in the water, they live in the ground, they live in rocks. Yeah. Um, Let's see, it says, did you know, we forgot that one. Did you know that gopher tortoises are only here in North America? And that their front legs, we talked about that, are shaped like shovels, so they can dig their burrows nice and deep. Well, that was fun learning about the animals in my backyard. I gotta tell you, Billy Bear is so much fun to hang out with. And he's teaching us such neat things. I cannot wait to see what else he teaches us tomorrow. Bye, guys. I'll see you again soon.